Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal right to make Nabil Fakir transfer decision but Edu faces Martin Odegaard dilemma and then we're going to look at Arsenal and Chelsea to miss out on summer targets as Liverpool prepare to finalise transfer. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal right to make Nabil Fakir transfer decision but Edu faces Martin Odegaard dilemma. So the reports are stating that Arsenal looks set to stay away from a possible deal for Real Betis star Nabil Fakir but prioritising a move for Martin Odegaard could present problems of its own. Arsenal may be making the right decision by opting against the move for Nabil Fakir but they shouldn't be so quick to put all their eggs in the Martin Odegaard basket. Fakir emerged as a potential alternative to Martin Odegaard this week. With reports stating Arsenal could make a move for the Real Betis star should they come up short in their bid for their current midfield loan star. However, it has been learnt that the Gunners' interest is tentative and unlikely to be pursued this summer. That's despite reports for Kier could be available for £26 million this summer, significantly less than the £77 million price tag that makes up his release clause. A creative midfielder with plenty of talent on the ball, Nabil Fakir would be a steal at £26 million. Even if Liverpool did pass on the midfielder before his eventual move to Andalusia due to concern over knee injuries. The 27-year-old has only missed seven games through injury since his 2019 move to Real Betis and none of them have been related to the cruciate ligament injury he sustained in 2015. In fact, none of his four injuries since making the move from Lyon have been knee related at all. That might cause Liverpool to regret pulling out of the deal but there were other factors as there would be for Arsenal should they consider a deal. Nabil Fakir is being seen as an alternative to Martin Odegaard but he's a very different player. The Frenchman is more agile, direct and perhaps quicker with the ball. Meanwhile, Martin Odegaard has the gift of moving the ball at his own pace, dictating attacking moves with precise passing ability as he steps into the final third. Arsenal fans have seen enough to know what the Norwegian offers and make no mistake, it is more than the often inconsistent Nabil Fakir. It's why they crave his signature so desperately after just 15 appearances, after all. Martin Odegaard has told those close to him that he would like to stay at Arsenal beyond the end of the season. But the Gunners' chances of landing the Norwegian on a permanent transfer deal could be complicated, with the Los Blancos having always been clear about just how excited they are over the 22-year-old. So in short, selling Martin Odegaard this summer would be a hugely difficult decision for Real Madrid and the £50 million fee quoted may not even be enough to prize him from the Spanish capital, particularly with the midfielder holding a release clause worth more than £300 million. It won't stop Arsenal trying, and it shouldn't, and this may be the best chance they ever had to sign Martin Odegaard, but if the Gunners put all their eggs into one transfer basket, they may well be disappointed at the end of the transfer window. So the next piece of transfer news states that Arsenal and Chelsea to miss out on summer targets as Liverpool prepare to finalise transfer. So the reports are stating that Arsenal and Chelsea have been linked with a move for RB Leipzig star Ibrahima Konate recently, but it appears they are now going to miss out on the transfer. Arsenal and Chelsea are set to miss out on defensive target Ibrahima Konate ahead of this summer. The two London rivals were both said to be interested in the RB Leipzig defender ahead of next season but it appears both would have to look elsewhere. That is because Liverpool are reportedly close to closing a deal to sign the centre-back with the Athletic, claiming talks are already underway and nearing completion. It is understood Konate has a £36 million release clause, meaning if Liverpool are happy to pay the fee, only personal terms would remain to be agreed before the deal is done. That could come as a blow for Arsenal in particular, who look likely to need a new centre-back this summer with David Luiz's future unclear amid his expiring contract. 
Konate, who is superstar defender Daya Upamecano's defensive partner, has been mooted as one of Arsenal's preferred options ahead of this summer, but it looks very likely they will need to look elsewhere. Chelsea were also linked, but Thomas Tuchel has much more leeway than Mikel Arteta, already possessing a wealth of centre-backs including Antonio Rudiger, Thiago Silva, Andreas Christensen, Kurt Zuma and Cesar Aspilicueta, though the latter only plays in the middle when a back five is in play. However, the Blues are still said to be keen to sign a centre-back. Veteran Thiago Silva looks likely to extend his deal, but it is unlikely he will stick around beyond next season. And Fukayo Tomori looks destined to join AC Milan permanently. Christensen and Rudiger have shown under Tuchel, as has reliable captain Aspilicueta, and given Chelsea have kept 12 clean sheets in 14 games under their new coach, they are not likely to lose any sleep on missing out on Ibrahima Konate. So it looks like Arsenal will miss out on their summer transfer target, as it looks like Liverpool have been prepared to finalise the transfer between Ibrahima Konate and Liverpool. And it looks like also are definitely going to miss out on this transfer target as it were stated that Liverpool are close to closing a deal to sign the centre-back as it has been claimed that the Athletic are stating that talks are already underway and it's nearing completion. And since he has a £36 million release clause, only personal terms will remain to be agreed before the deal is done. Like the same manner we signed Thomas Pazzi, but when it comes to Ibrahim Akanate, he is someone that probably wants to play in the Champions League. And even if Arsenal are able to play the £36 million release clause, are they able to convince Kanate that we will be able to be back to the Champions League sooner rather than later? But it looks like Mikel Arteta has failed when it comes to this transfer. However, would this mean that other players that have been on loan, such as Dinos Mavropanos and William Saliba will get the opportunity now at the club next season. But other than that guys, remain blessed, stay tuned in the next video and peace.